Hello, my name is Michael. And my name is Haley. And welcome to another episode of Just Make Game. Well, hello. We spent the majority of our time this month doing animations. That brings back some memories. Mate, just animations. 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 So I have still been working on the intro animation throughout all of January. We are making good progress and it's starting to come together really nicely and the bits that Mike has edited together look really good. I'm kind of hoping to have it pretty much all done by the end of February, um, but I might be being a bit too optimistic about that. We will see. So for this animation, we are using a combination of different techniques, I guess you could call them. So we are rotoscoping, we're using reference images and some parts of the animation we are just working from scratch really. For example, for this head turn part of the animation, I actually took some photos of Mike to use as the keyframes and rotoscoped this bit of animation. For the desk, I used a bunch of different reference images and kind of just placed them and stacked them up how I wanted them to create the mess that's lying across the desk. The small movement of the character writing in this scene was something that was just done by hand, so there was no reference or no photographs taken for that one. We've been ignoring the light source on any reference images we use and we have just been putting our own light source in where we want it. This means that all of the shading is done by hand, but it also means we don't have to spend ages searching for reference images that have just the right lighting or we don't have to take the time to set up and photograph reference images that have the lighting spot on either. Doing it this way saves quite a bit of time for us. If you're new to doing this kind of thing, it might be worthwhile setting up and getting the lighting correct on your reference images to make it easier when you're animating. But for us, this really just saves some time. We're using the orange colors in the palette to designate the really bright highlights. So that's anything that is really close to the light source or anything that's metallic or shiny. It helps to have this contrasting color, which really just gives an extra punch to the lighting. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, animating is really, really slow work. You know what else is slow? <coughs> Me trying to teach myself how to knit. Like, look at that. That is like three hours work and it's like hardly anything. When I'm finished, I'm just going to have like this little red square that I'll probably use for nothing because it's a really dodgy polyester yarn. Don't know why, why I keep doing slow stuff, but uh, I'm trying to practice patience and be calm about it. But sometimes I just want to give up and just, just have a little, just a little ree! So I've been having a lovely time actually doing some art this month. It's been great to have a proper break from coding. It's been about two months now and, you know, actually enjoying myself doing some sort of creative type things. Not that code isn't creative, but you know what I mean. I will be going back into the code next month and actually implementing all the things that need to be implemented and Haley will be remaining on the animation and the intro art. As well as the actual pixel art creation, I've also been uh, seeing how we're going to be editing and putting together all the various shots for the intro sequence. So I've been compiling shots, working out camera movement and sorting out post effects such as, you know, sort of subtle lighting changes and particle effects and so on. Just the little things that bring the sort of scene together and make things pop a bit more. This animation sequence will serve not only as the introduction sort of sequence that plays when you boot up the game, but it's also going to be our announcement trailer and likely will form part of subsequent trailers as well. So it's vital that I keep the editing sort of snappy and engaging and make sure that the whole thing looks as good as humanly possible. If you're ever looking to do a bit of animation like this or something that is sort of longer form animation than just a, you know, a sprite sheet, I strongly recommend that you storyboard everything out first. You may think that you can kind of whip it up as you go and I can just tell you that inevitably you will compile a crap shot or a lovely looking shot that doesn't work with the shots before and afterwards or you'll make something redundant and otherwise sort of unnecessary and then you'll end up cutting that and wasting all the time that went into actually creating it. Storyboarding may seem at first like some sort of unnecessary faff and something that would only be crucial to do in like a team of 30 people you know like a big production sort of thing but it's crucial to make sure that you're working effectively because you can put a storyboard together and see if the shots work back to back and change things around a lot easier than you can spending days or weeks on a single shot then making the next one 
and then going, oh, they don't play well together, I'm gonna have to change them up. It's a lot easier to just quickly redraw a scribbled sort of storyboard than it is to go through and do all your pixel art again. As I said, I will be rotating back to code and implementation work this next month, and Haley will be remaining on the intro animation. I am resisting the urge to jump immediately into the sort of fun bit of code, and that's the sort of stuff like, you know, putting in lighting effects and particle effects and all the sort of juicy things that, you know, make a game look really good. Um, I'm trying to contain myself and only get around to that sort of thing when it's sort of strictly necessary. There are still some basic systems that need to be put in, so it makes sense to do that first before getting to all the, oh, look how fancy it looks type things. Um, it is kind of hard because at the moment the game does look pretty flat and kind of dull compared to, you know, what the end vision is, but, um, I have to sort of keep telling myself that I should do, you know, the fun bits, the pretty bits further down the track. As always, any aspect of game development is a slow process, you know, doing art is slow, coding is slow, testing is slow, and you know what else is really slow? <coughs> Well, as you know, we live in Australia, and here's a couple of quick facts about Australia. It's always hot, all of the time, it's never cold, ever. Some people say there's snow in Australia, that's a blatant lie. Most of the country is an uninhabited Mad Max wasteland. The entire population is drunk 60% of the time. Hello, mate. How are you? And our internet is absolute garbage. The majority of Australia is serviced by ADSL 2. Yeah. These are the typical speeds that we get here in our place. Like, look at this. It's amazing we can even manage to upload one of these videos a month. But, Australia is currently rolling out a fibre network, sort of a country-wide. And we're in line for getting that set up in February, so this month. Apparently. I'm trying not to get too excited about it, but, oh my god, it's gonna be like Christmas. One thing I'd like to do on this channel is just sort of live stream every now and then. Like, when we're actually working, set up a live stream. People can jump in, ask questions, see what we're actually doing sort of moment to moment. But that has been totally impossible on, you know, our current internet. And even the internet we had at our old place was not much faster than this. So hopefully, maybe in the sort of near future, it will be possible to do that sort of thing. So look out for that. Thank you for watching this episode of Just Make Game. If you like these videos and want to support the channel, check out our Patreon. There is a link in the video description. <laughs> Age of funding for this episode of Just Make Game was provided by Vin Hill, Raf Bluffin, Martin Schoenborg, Lurkin McClurkin, Ivan Makarovich, Dead Ken, Connor Bowen, Bumper Car Studios, Ben Kersnowski, Alan Pask, and viewers like you. Well, that's it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next month for another episode of Just Make Game. Bye. See ya. Spend me right